Hello everyone, I'm Blade and welcome back to my channel Blade's World, the hotter engine fan page on YouTube. Today I want to show you new steps of development on my test tube thermoacoustic Sterling heat engine. The drawing is available now, the link in the description where you will find few links to the spare parts if you want to build your own unit. The first engine doesn't work because of the spring stiffness. Secondary, I wanted to substitute the spring with magnets. This is a possible thing, but I haven't got strong enough magnets yet. The unit looks like a working model, but it's failing. Back to the ancient ages. I'm joking, but the latex rubber band worked pretty well. I added weight to the piston because the latex band was too strong and I should tuned up for the working frequency. It's worked, but the piston jumped out. After a few tries I connected three springs together with my favorite new adhesive. It's a cheap, hard, strong thing. And I will show you later in this video's daily tip section. Stay tuned. The springs worked well. The stroke was limited but the torque was good. I've made the first short video for you guys few days ago. I had a working model but I saw the stroke could be higher so I made some changes on it. I connected a longer rod to the piston, shortened the latex finger for wider tangent tuning range, I reduced the regenerator density, also the length from 5 to 3 cm and I use copper screen onto the ends for better heat exchange and the result is I've been happy with the high stroke and torque it will be enough to hold and move magnets in a coil for a future project I hope you enjoyed this short presentation of my development if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button if you want to follow my future works, just subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the updates. Yep, I have a tip for you today. I use a lot of adhesive glue, what everyone uses, but in the past few months I started to use a simple homemade two component bonding technique. Cyanoacrylate liquid glue with added sodium bicarbonate powder. This is a very fast, easy to use and incredibly strong bonding. The cyanoacrylate is dangerous because of the speed and the hardness. This is not a toy, use it responsibly. If you want to browse on my channel, I suggest to you a video now. Please share it on your social media platforms if you like. I want to show my knowledge, tips and tricks from my Hotter Engines world. See you soon. Blade.